Hi everyone, this is Matthew. I'm glad to be back again with you guys in this video where I'm going to talk about this Xiaomi Mi Band 1S, which is the latest fitness tracker from Xiaomi. So this morning, somebody dumped this sample on my desk and asked me to do a quick video on it. And I have to be very, very quick. I mean, this sample will be shipped out this day. So I'll have to give it back as soon as I'm done with this video. So I'm sorry, this is not going to be a complete review, but rather a quick look on the latest gadget from Xiaomi. First off, why don't we take a look at the sticker on the back of this box. By the way, this box stays the same style as the original one. Okay, right here we have the serial number of the model plus battery capacity stays the same, 45 million pay. And you can expect battery life on this one to be shorter than the original one because it has the heart rate sensor installed. Battery type stays the same, leave-in polymer. Color stays the same. And this is quite a surprise because I think with the new one, they should come up with other color options, but still, it stays the same. Input voltage, 5 volt. Input current, 25 million pay and Bluetooth 4.0 plus IP67 water and dustproof ratings. And then you get all the description that most of you guys won't care much about. All right, without further ado, I think I'm gonna open this up. Interior layout stays exactly the same. Right here, you have this a nap of sponge right here, which protects the core. And right here, we have the core. Yeah, you got the optic heart rate sensor right here. Pretty cool though, but we'll take a look at that later. And we got the bracelet, the charger should be here, all right. And then you got the user manual. I think there won't be many differences in this user manual than the original one. Okay, right here you have the how to wear quick start and the mobile app with the QR code to scan on, plus the pairing instruction and the quick start, charging instruction, specification and compliance with, you know, all the regulations in China and also in Europe. Well, it says this one complies with all the major international standards. Okay, then you got the guarantee, which is only, you know, viable in China. Okay, I have to say, Xiaomi has always been quite, you know, effective and intuitive with their manuals. This is uh, something very, very hard to find, you know, amongst the Chinese manufacturers. Remember the last time we talked about the CX-20? That user manual was a complete wacko. And here I have the core of the original Xiaomi Mi Band and the one of the new one. So they both look pretty much identical except for the optical hardware sensor that is on the new one. And um, the shape stays the same. Well, same old rice cream shape. And I think thickness wise, this one has to be, the new one has to be a little bit thicker than the original one because it has this new gadget installed on it. Okay, in terms of length, the original one is 37.20 to 21. And I guess the new one should be pretty much the same. It looks like I can still retract that a little bit more. Well, stays the same. What about this dimension? 30.61 and the new one. 30.65, well, that kind of error is just omittable. And what about thickness? The new one reads 9.95. And the original one. Obviously, the original one is slightly thinner than the new one. That we can be sure. Oh, the optical heart rate sensor is lit up. Looks pretty badass, frankly. So in terms of thickness, the new one is slightly thicker than the original one because it has this optical heart rate sensor installed. And what about the weight? All right, let's check it out. Right, this one got five grand. Four grand. So, the new one is also heavier than the original one. 
but that difference can be omitted. This is just a very, very small gadget. All right, here I have my Home Note 2 right here, which is also a product of Xiaomi. I'm going to activate Bluetooth and just get this in my bracelet. All right, it's easy as always. And let's start MeFit. Guess I will have to choose to pair it. All right, the pairing took longer than expected, and I have to cut some part out of this video to make the whole thing shorter. Um, I guess this time we'll be looking at you know the features that comes with the heart rate sensors. So I here I have the heart rate test, and this part unfortunately is not yet you know translated into English. And I hope they can work out the English version fast. Um, right here, it has already has my last two checkup record, which is around 80 pulse per minute. I guess that means I'm healthy enough. And you can always check it again. And by the way, you shouldn't be checking your heart rate like this. You will have to be place your bracelets at the same height as your chest, and also do not place your bracelet close to your waist. No, you have to work like this. And that should be accurate if you do like this. So right here we have another option that is not yet translated into English and it has something to do with the heart rate sensor. And this option can improve the accuracy of heart rate monitoring during sleep. So when you activate it, it will still monitor your heart rate uh, according to a certain time interval. So when you deactivate it, I think that deactivates the checkup interval. So it won't be checking up your heart rate during sleep, first conserving more batteries. And what else about the heart rate sensor? Okay, obviously we also have a separated firmware for the heart rate sensor. Okay, that will be all for my video on the Xiaomi Mi Band 1S, which is an upgraded version of the Xiaomi Mi Band with the heart rate sensor. Honestly, there's not much to talk about in this video, and plus I have to give this back real quick within 10 minutes and to get it shipped out. So I have to be real quick about the ending. So before I go, I would like to talk a little bit about the pricing of Xiaomi products, why they are so cheap. Well, the media has always been naive about this company. They keep saying that, well, this company is doing nothing but attracting customers with low prices. Well, when a tech company managed to sell enormous amount of this kind of hardware from which they can get an enormous amount of user data, it's usually not the profit by selling these hardware that they're after but rather the data that is important to them. So the strategy of Xiaomi is pretty obvious. They're trying to sell their product at a very low price to get to as many people as possible so that they can milk as much data as possible from their users in the future. And that data means endless opportunities for a company, especially a tech company. All right, those were my final thoughts. I'm signing out.